Hello and welcome into ARC 4021 Introductory UFI. My name is Piotr Krul and I will be your trainer during this class. What are the goals of this class? First of all, we will learn about firmware fundamentals. What is firmware, what is its purpose, uh, why we need it, where is it stored and how it relates to the term BIOS. Uh, then we will talk a little bit about the history of BIOS and how it evolved into, into UFI. Also, we will discuss a little bit about jargon, about the terms uh, BIOS versus UFI, BIOS versus, versus UFI, who use it and why, and why sometimes it may be controversial. Then we will talk a little bit about uh, UFI basics, starting with uh, goals of the UFI specification and PI specification, uh, essential components described in both of those specifications, then uh, we will talk about history, how this specification evolved, and, um, and we will uh, close discussion about basics with talking about implementations, especially reference implementation called EDK2, and criticism, what are the concerns of people that criticize UFI specification. Then we will switch into UFI boot flow, uh, where we will describe various booting stages of modern computing system, uh, especially those described in UFI specification and PI specification called SEC, PAI, Dixie and BDS. In next section we will talk about UFI variables, which are critical components to understand more complex topics like UFI Secure Boot. So uh, in UFI variables section we will learn about the attribute or, uh, attributes of UFI variables and what kind of capabilities they provide. Uh, we will talk about authenticated variables, which are very important security concept to use it in, uh, in UFI. And uh, we will close with uh, an analyzing how to access UFI variables in uh, Linux environment. From the practical point of view, we will build, debug uh, and look into structures of, um, of EDK2, reference implementation of UFI. We will analyze boot log to understand uh, boot phases of UFI. We will look into UFI shell and commands used in UFI shell. Uh, we will look into self UFI self certification test so to understand how UFI is tested. And we will end up with UFI variables trying to create, modify uh, various variables uh, and see how, how this works. Finally, you may ask yourself. Why should I take this class? Uh, first of all, it depends on your situation, but if you are a firmware developer, maybe you are at the beginning of your career path, career path uh, so it is very good start to understand uh, top, top most, most widely adopted uh, firmware specification, which is, which is the one which we will discuss in this course. So this is a very good first, first step to understand, uh, to start your career. Maybe you, you are not familiar with UFI, uh, but you are a firmware developer, so you can extend your knowledge through, uh, through this course. You may be also security researchers looking for understanding of firmware to do your job better, to find, to, to find vulnerabilities to protect firmware uh, that, that you help design. Um, maybe you are also, you are just curious and you, you just want to understand how things work and understand the nitty-gritty uh, concepts behind the boot, uh, booting process. Uh, this is also a course uh, which will uh, explain those, those concepts. Um, this course was also, also designed to uh, prepare you for more um, advanced top topics, as I said, UFI Secure Boot, but also deep dive into UFI internals. Uh, also hardware hands-on of, uh, of UFI with the goal of creating your own UFI or bringing, bringing firmware uh, to completely new hardware. Um, last thing I would like to mention is uh, that UFI is not the only way of booting uh, computing platform, not the only framework which uh, can help us do that. There is also Coreboot, which is firmware framework, uh, also called open source BIOS. Um, and the, there is a lecture dedicated to that called ARC4031. For Knowing multiple implementations and uh, multiple approach, approaches to, to the boot process uh, definitely will help you build more reliable and secure firmware. 
As a last word, I would like to wish you good luck with the course and hope, hope you will enjoy it.